Service seems to be going pretty well at the start. I feel like I'm in rhythm. I'm getting all the dishes out. And I look up, and the maitre d' is bringing back a plate of fish. Chef, table three. One fish was raw. First fish is raw, and this could really send me to that elimination tomorrow. It's unforgivable to send out raw food. Get another one on. Yep. Quickly. Get another one on, and we, we, we fix it, yeah? Yes, George. After that first one, I came back raw. I'm going to make sure that this time it's going to be cooked perfectly all the way through, and making sure that all the other fish are going to be cooked perfectly as well. How long are my fish? How long almost are the there, fish? Almost there, almost there. I need for three, then I need it for five, 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 five. It's a lot of pressure for everyone in this kitchen because this is George's kitchen, and this is his menu, and there's a lot of writing on this because it's his reputation as well as on the line. Come on, mate, come on, come on, go, go. Finish the garlic, finish the garlic, finish the garlic, come on. Yes, George, yes, George. I didn't think I'm going to get any dishes up in service, but I'm actually getting them out. Right, service. Hopefully the rest are all cooked perfectly and taste like lamb tzatziki. Because the semi-finals, that position is a steak. To uh, George's, it's not as sharp, it's not as clean, yeah. uh, it's not as shiny. Yeah. Um, maybe you struggle a little bit with the preparation, mine's a little bit wavy yeah. and moving around. Um, yeah, detail's good though, the, yeah. you know, the, the dried lemon zest on one side and on the other, the same number of dots of yeah. black garlic puree. So much is going to depend on how that fish is cooked. Yeah. Tell you what, that black garlic adds so much to that dish. And the combination of the yogurt and that fermented black garlic is absolutely delicious. Yeah, and for me, that's, the cooking in the wine is absolutely perfect. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more salt. Just a little bit well, of salt. You know what I was thinking it was? It's the lamb fat. Not enough lamb fat. That was my next question. Because the whole idea is this is the whiting that, that, that thinks it's a lamb. At no point do I think this is a lamb dish. No. It's always it's a whiting dish. dish. It's a beautiful whiting dish, but the gag doesn't really play on it. with like garlic and, and lamb apparently. Lamb was a little bit a little bit subtle. Amazing combinations of, of textures and flavours. They all work together beautifully. Yeah it's lovely. Ooh, fantastic. I thought it was a great dish. This is beautiful. It's perfectly balanced. Great textures as well. Once this whiting leaves the past then we go on the lamb yeah this is when it gets interesting. I'm really starting to doubt myself. This is absolutely the most important challenge we've done to date. Whoever's going to win is going through the semi-finals. We're in George's restaurant cooking for all these amazing people. You all right? What's wrong? I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've just got to clean down my bench. Yeah. And then I'm all yours, hon. I'm trying with everything that I have to keep it together. <laughs> but I can feel the pressure starting to build inside me. Away, three lamb. Yes, George. How long? Uh, a few minutes, George. Every plate will have a lamb skewer and a leek tempura, and I've got to cook them to order. Jessica, you can do it. Come on. I'm really, really frustrated with myself today. I had the advantage that, you know, could have set me up for success, and I have chosen what is now quickly becoming clearly the hardest dish of the day. How long? Three lamb, Jessica. Uh, ten seconds. I've got, well, not to plate, but to give you all the stuff. How long on three lamb, Jessica? Am I plating them? Yeah. Get the girls to help you. I pretty much buried myself today. Definitely regretting the dish that I've chosen. Look at me. Just talk to us. Tell us what you need. You're the chef of this section. I can't cook everything and plate okay. everything. Oh, all right. I honestly don't see how I'm going to get any food up today, but... I just have to keep cooking until it happens. Breathe, sweetheart. Just breathe. Yeah. You can do it. We're here to help you, OK? Georgia, you yep. can start plating up there, yeah? Sure. Well, I'm going to walk out? I don't think so. <laughs> Not on George. Right, let's go. This is uh, three lamb, table oh. three. After that, Jessica, yeah. I need a three yep. and then a five. Okay. I'm so proud of Jessica. She's had such a tough day today, but she's powering through. 
first slams hit the table, Jessica, and can I tell you, there's smiles on their faces, yeah? So, so, you know what? Those tears in here are turning into smiles out right there, and that's what it's about. You hear me? Yes, sure. Yes, so come on. Keep going. Yes? Yes, sure. Come on. I am absolutely in a blur of service. I'm trying to do tempura and three different meats and heat up my fondants and leeks yeah. all at the same time. I need now three lamb, then a five lamb. Yes, and I'm supposed to be plating, but George is doing that for me. Yeah, oh, oh, no. My God. Okay, quick. We'll get it. And within that blur, I've dropped two of my leek cannellonis on the floor, which I don't have any spares for. Jessica, what's going on? Nothing's going right for me today. I've got a problem. I just dropped two of my leeks and I don't have any spare. You need to make a decision what you want to do about that. Can you yeah? cut them in half, Jess? You either cut them in half, you don't serve it to the customer, you go and explain it to the customer, whatever. You make the choice. Yeah. That's what it's about, yeah? My only option is to serve a customer a half portion of these little cannelloni. Right, service, we'll take the barbecues out, yeah? So I'm going to take that dish out myself so I can apologise for the incomplete dish. I need to apologise to your table that you only have a um, little half of your little um, leeks. Um, I had some problems today. <laughs> I thoroughly hope you enjoy the rest of it. Thank you. I'm really glad that I apologised because it was the right thing to do. But <laughs> it's just the most embarrassing thing. That is the difference, yeah? And I'm proud of you, yeah? because you stood up to your mistakes. That's what it's about, yeah? You did it, you hear me? You picked the hardest dish, all right? And I'm proud of you. Come on, let's go. The fact that George is proud of me today is definitely something to hold on to. Come on, Jess, last one, last one. That's good, Georgia, you support, yeah? Yes, George. It's a team, it's a team here, yeah? Yes, George. All right, that's what hospitality is. It's one big team. We look after each other. We support each other. It's about pride and dignity, yeah? Yes, George. I'm so glad I got through it. Service! I was under the pump the entire time, so I just hope everything had enough time to cook. Certainly the skewer, the puree, but even the fondant to some degree look absolutely delicious. Well, well let's hope that all the hard work Jess put in yeah. manifests itself in front of flavour, which is what she does on the plate. struggling with is because some elements aren't perfect they become superfluous so that fondant which I love fondant potatoes because they're soft and delicious and kind of oozy and buttery that's not it's undercooked it's got another 15 20 minutes to go on the plus side love that sabise puree love that soft onion it's delicious and that little meat skewer with all those elements that's meaty and delicious and barbecuey and Really beautiful. That and the onions, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with. The lamb belly is absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's delicious, course. melty, falls apart, goes so well with the sweetness of the onion puree. So you feel with this dish that if Jessica maybe had one or two less elements to do, yeah. she would have done an amazing job. As it is, the sheer workload may have defeated her. Had the lamb dish. It was very good. Um, the potato was a bit under, but other than that, the flavour was good. Uh, we just ate the lamb. Delicious, delicious. The onion's beautiful, beautiful, sweet. The tempera really made the dish was great. Desserts are about to start, yeah? I start plating up my desserts. I'm really happy with the way they're looking. The twills are looking good. I love for my desserts, Billy. Three minutes, George, and may I please have the liquid nitrogen? Yes, Billy. It's time to make my snow with the liquid nitrogen, and I've sort of been dreading this point because I haven't ever used it before, but I'm really excited to try it. 
Billy, yes, you sir. can do the nitrogen yourself, yeah? Okay, but you George. have to wear the goggles and the gloves, yeah? It feels so weird to put on these little goggles and the gloves and um, open this big canister of liquid nitrogen. Okay, you squirt it gently, slowly. And then squirting the snow mix in there, I feel a bit um, like I'm in a lab rather than a kitchen. Ready? Just about to. But it's, it's really cool and it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I've made. I need cool ice for six. How long, Billy? Two minutes, George. Good girl. I'm loving this. It's so amazing to be in George Columbaris' kitchen at the press club cooking his food to serve to these, you know, top chef diners. Come on, last one. That's it. Come on, Billy. Yes, George. Finish it up. Winning today's challenge would be huge. It would, it would mean that I would have a spot in the semi-finals. How long on the five? Come on. Five seconds. Sit. Five. Hey, they invented the marathon, the Greeks, didn't they? Yes, George. It's definitely a marathon today, wasn't it? Yes, George. I'm happy with my version of the creme brulee, but it just takes one element that's not right to send me into elimination. I started this spiel, I totally forgot that it wasn't George Norton in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. it, looked, it looked that clean. And she's cut those plums off, hasn't she? Yeah. Really, really, really fun. Thin. Really fun. I had no problem finishing that at all. <laughs> you look at the dish, the textures, the way the fennel bar and the and this cream bounce off each other, the, the beautiful theatre of that, that biscuit, you know, collapsing over the sponge and kind of like, you know, almost marbling that sponge with the melted sugar. Um, the lightness of the sponge, and it is super light. Super light, and the balance of flavours. Um, it's a really spicy, spicy. It's delicious. Yeah, and just, and just perfectly in balance. You know the only thing I think is that mascarpone cream is a little heavy. It's yeah. almost on the verge where it, it almost yeah. could be broken or split, but because it was hidden by that yeah. little caramel crunch, I didn't really pick it up until I started examining it. 